Hello everyone, welcome to a daily run as Eden. Edens are interesting because <clears throat> you start with weird ass shit. In this case we have nine lives, which is great, and friendly ball, which is shit. Um, I don't really know how to effectively use friendly ball. Maybe we should have collected the large uh, enemy here rather than the tiny one, but you know, life goes on. We have done it. We also have, apart from evil eye, which is actually pretty nice, uh, monstro's bladder. No, Bob's bladder, my mistake. Um, which, basically, it's also pretty... L it's a low-tier trinket, I think. Causes our bombs to have a creep effect much like Mysterious Liquid. You know, the one that causes creep effects whenever your tears land. Uh, except... Oh, painful. That could have been the end of this run. <laughs> um... Except only when you put down a bomb, rather than, you know, whenever it's useful to do so. We do have nine lives, so in fact it would not be the end of this run, but it would still have been a slightly catastrophic way to end it, I suppose. I'm wondering whether um, Mayday had a... Oh, that creeper just dissipated when I went over it. I don't know whether Mayday had a special run to it. Oh, 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 don't die. But uh, I didn't do it, so I guess whatever. This is turning out to be quite difficult because our HP is really low, but our actual DPS is abysmal. We can't hit anything. Please. <laughs> Die. Like, we can't do enough damage to anything in a sensible period of time, I guess is the problem here. Uh, perks is okay, but I guess we'll uh, get our spider out. <laughs> there it is. That's our spider. Attack the other spider. There you go. In your own time. So we can just about beat one spider every, you know, three or four years. Which is fine. I mean, we can take our time, but we are going all the way to um, the Isaac fight, it looks like. So we're going to want to try and get there in time for boss rush and hush. Unfortunately, this does not strike me as the sort of run that is destined to be good uh, for hush. So... I guess we just keep going. Try not to die. Try not to get hit too many times. It is a cellar. Cellar is slightly more difficult than the basement. And with this poor DPS. Not only is it going to be difficult not to die. Range up is okay. Um, it's not just difficult not to die. But it's just going to take forever. You know. There is a maximum speed. At which you can get to boss rush. With uh, such low DPS. We don't have any bombs or anything to facilitate. Yikes! We, we died once. Uh, to facilitate us getting through this any quicker, so it's just a matter of not getting hit. Which is annoying when the enemies are spawning <laughs> more enemies faster than you can do the damage. Evil Eye every now and then causing a, an eye shot to come out. Basically at least doubling our own DPS as long as the eye shot is on target. So it, it kind of behooves us to maybe try and ensure that the eye shot is on target. I had no idea where that spider was going. You may have noticed that I floundered. And then walked straight into the spider. Please stop making fucking spiders. We're nearly there. Nope, we're not nearly there. Eye shots, by the way, we can use them to sort of shoot around corners. It's a bit of a ineffectual and very high level strategy, but... It's worth doing. We have finally beaten this floor. This room. Not this floor. This floor's a long way off from being beaten. This is the first floor, by the way. Um, I would have you note. We'll uh, collect that. That seems slightly more useful than collecting the spider that we did collect earlier. Oh, we can use it straight away. There is another battery charge. I don't really intend to go back and get it. Um, hopefully this... Oh, for five minutes. This is turning out to be an extremely difficult floor, and I don't think it is down to me, to be quite honest. Um, I have extreme difficulty in doing something as simple as not getting hit by these spiders, cornered a couple of times by said spiders. More coins. Kind of want to use the two of clubs, get in what's presumably a secret room. There's the creep that I was talking about. We have got some protection for the first time since we started this off. Oh. So here's another thing we're going to be at all day. And of course we managed to kite Ragman away from our bomb. Thereby 
completely failing to have any of the better effects of the bomb, which is that it would do a lot of damage to Ragman and cause us to be out of here before we all die a slow and painful death of uh, some Borden and some... I some uh, I guess you can just die of Borden. It's like, I, I don't want to be here anymore. I'd rather end this miserable existence and continue to watch this Isaac run, which is fair because I'm wondering quite why I started playing it. I was doing really well and I have just finished my keeper postcard. If you watched a run that I think I've actually not uploaded yet. Should have, by mistake. Uh, yesterday's Isaac. Well, I will have uploaded it by the time you watch this, but now that I'm playing it, I'm thinking, oh, maybe I forgot to actually upload <laughs> the uh, Isaac run I did yesterday. Just after the stream, I did an Isaac run, which would have been uploaded by now, and I did really badly and decided to play some keeper runs. Just to fill in some time, you know, just for shits and giggles. Those ones that I did then were bad. Could we please hit this enemy with some tears? There we go. Some HP is nice, but it doesn't help us right away. Uh, those keeper runs were okay. I mean, they were entertaining, they were fun. I tried them. Today, I actually succeeded in my goal. Uh, which was to, you know, get, get my postcard filled out for... The hard mode uh, lamb fight and the hard mode Satan fight have now been done. So I thought, oh, I'm doing really well. I'll play an Isaac daily run. What's the worst that could happen? Well, it turns out it could be an Eden run with yes. no benefit to it whatsoever. There's our HP. So that's uh, that's pretty nice. I don't know if there's a way of telling the difference between the friendly ball when it's full and friendly ball when it is empty. I believe it's currently empty, so we pick something up. I'd really very much like to replace it ASAP, because it's shit. But we did get uh, the tower card, which has done some damage to this room, and left a lot of creep, which is cool. Uh, infestation 2. Infestation 2 drops these spiders every time an enemy dies. So all we need to do is continue to not get hit, and then let the spiders do some of the hard work, and that will be great for us. Uh, of course, when the enemy dies to a spider, we don't get a spider, so it doesn't self-perpetuate, which is a shame, but you can understand why they would do that. So we're going to need a lot of damage, we're going to need a lot of tears up. Oh, we basically need everything we can get our hands on. There's no reason not to use this now. I don't think the uh, I don't think the fly dies over time. PhD is probably worth taking, to be quite honest with you. Better kills gives us a tears upgrade, which is exactly what I said we needed. So that was worthwhile. Um, happy to have done that. And that fly's getting a bit annoying. Leave me alone. Can I attack something else? There we go. Oh, yeah, straight into the fire. Good job. Well done. Glad to have employed that particular unit. Uh, thanks for playing. Can't pick up any of these. Try not to walk into that fire. We're doing okay. <laughs> um, so where will our boss be? Over here. Oh, shit. The tears upgrade is actually making a noticeable difference. I really feel like I'm actually succeeding at my task, which is to not die. And the infestation shot, infestation 2, is just out of this world in the amount of damage that it's causing to the other enemies, you know, when whenever something... Oh shit, we took red hot damage. That is the opposite of what I wanted to do here. The infestation shot causing these spiders to just do that final little piece of... How am I supposed to dodge this shit? Seriously. That one ran away, that's the trouble. Do you see that? It started disappearing. So I didn't know where it was. Hagalaz, Perthro, Awaz. Don't really need Awaz. Here's a trip down to the next floor. Answers, Hagalaz again. Answers. We'll use Answers to see if we can get to the secret room. Hagalaz can actually get us into the secret room, I believe. We'll try it. No. But we've got infinite bombs, so it was worth having a go. It's not like we care about Hagalaz. I would like to, ooh. Transcendence is actually a very uncommon item. But we can now fly. Not that that helps, because we have half an HP. And I will take, in fact, Perthro. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Just don't don't get hit. Easy, right? Pick up Monstro? No. <laughs> it was worth... Uh, if I could have picked up Monstro, you would all be laughing. You're all laughing, ha ha ha, very funny. Why did you try and pick up a boss? If that had worked, 
I'd be laughing all the way through the next floor, right? As it is, I couldn't give two shits about friendly ball in the first place. So why not just randomly use it and see what we can uh, get it to do? Just don't get hit. It's easy. It's only Monstro. Keep yourself on the straight and narrow. Don't um, don't let yourself get disheartened by the fact you took a shitload of damage against that super secret room, which was unfortunate in the fact that it was full of an enemy that you wouldn't normally see at this stage of the game. It's, uh, it's quite a late game enemy. And certainly don't get disheartened by the fact that you're obviously never going to be doing hush on this run because it is so weak and awful. It's dishearteningly weak. This is great. We'll take this and die. We'll respawn outside. Don't care about what's inside. We respawned with Judas' shadow. Oh, we respawned with Guppy's nine fucking lives. Guppy's nine lives. That well-known item. Um, I should have taken the other thing and died with it. Well, that's going to be an issue. We do have Judas' shadow, but we want to get it activated. By taking it, we did die. And Judas' shadow is activated by dying and coming back to life as Dark Judas. However, what actually happened was we died and came back to life as fucking Eden with his bullshit damage. Judas' shadow is seven more lives away. Which is okay. I mean, that's seven deals with the devil. Which we didn't deserve on that floor. The amount of damage that we took. It's seven deals with the devil. We can buy a lot of stuff. We can even spend HP or lives on just, you know... Just anything that would normally cost us damage. Like a blood bank, for example. If we feel that we'd rather have... Uh, the money from the blood bank than the the lives from nine lives and we spend the lives on money it's we, we trade them in it's no big deal so we want to get down to Judas's shadow unless something outrageously good happens between now and then which I honestly cannot imagine is even likely to uh, take place well good shot you don't need to dodge them you can just fly okay good remember you can fly Remember, you're a Womble. I hope everyone who joined us for the stream enjoyed it. That was my first stream. Uh, Ed's in my first stream. I assume Ed's never st streamed before either. I was trying to conjugate stream into the past tense, and I realised it was a stream. But it, it felt like it wasn't. And that was sort of a moment of revelation for, for me as an English speaker. To have to sort of evaluate my own understanding of the language that I've been speaking since birth. Well, learning to speak since birth and successfully speaking for just a couple of years after that. I hope everyone did enjoy that stream, for everyone who did join us. Um, not to cast shade on people who didn't join us, I understand that the Sunday on a bank holiday is not the uh, not the ideal time for anybody who <laughs> wants to turn up to a stream uh, to do so. Many people were out of not the country, I will say they fled the country, but they were out of town, they were visiting parents, that sort of thing. It's it's an ideal thing to do when you've got an extra um, an extra day. So we need to make sure these jokers are over here. That was a very good dodge, thank you for saying so. Sagittarius, it's a speed upgrade which allows us to pull stunts like that. We should do this, for the point. Um, but also it's piercing shots, and piercing shots are extremely useful in many situations. I wonder whether the eye pierces through enemies. That will be interesting to discover. So uh, do pay attention and see whether it does for me. We'll, we'll science this. Our rate of fire is really low and our damage is really low, but being able to hit all the enemies with each tier, especially when they're chasing us like this, it mitigates a lot of the problems with our tiers in the first place. That was a bit risky. We sort of dodged into a shot, hoping that the relative angles would work out, and they did, but it's not something that I would actually recommend trying. And Transcendence. What a very rare item that is. You can have this. Here you go. Charge him! Yeah! My faithful minion. Of course, we can hide out, hide out over here, and then um, just wait, I guess. Seems to be working. My faithful minion has become nothing more than a dip. It's faithfully minioning around, so I can't be too salty. Although we seem to be getting more out of the spiders that are dying, that are spawning from our flies, than we are even remotely from that particular uh, particular minion unit. Uh, an extra coin is okay, but not really worth the 
for Kiwi Pay to get in here. Um, we don't have spectral tears, of course, so maybe I should probably not try shooting through rocks just yet. Balls of steel. Thank you. This is because we picked up PhD. Twofold, that is because we picked up PhD. First of all, I knew what it was. Secondly, it was good. Um, something that could have been bad has turned into balls of steel, or it was already balls of steel, but we didn't have to take the risk associated with uh, taking an unknown pill. And if we see question marks, don't eat it. Right? That is an actually question marks pill now. Found our item room, we found our shop, we didn't want anything from the shop. This is pretty good. We'll throw that. We'll capture this. We can capture that as well, which is amazing to me. You're shooting me, that's okay. You can't hurt me. Maybe Friendly Ball is mostly um, valuable. Ooh, that was really bad damage. When you have lots of battery charges, so you can just collect multiple... Why are you attacking... I got so confused by Friendly Ball Mom's hand thingy attacking me just now. Pretty sure it's dropping down on me. Maybe it's more useful when you've got many batteries, basically. Um, oh, that's such bad dodging. So much for my amazing Isaac day. Or maybe it's just never good, and we happen to make it good by collecting two enemies instead of killing them. Who knows? Experimental treatment gives us one more HP, but we're going down to the next floor. 15 minutes, just entering Caves 2. No way we're getting to <laughs> anything. No way we're getting to Boss Rush. If we're very lucky, we may make it to Hush, by virtue of the fact that we're definitely missing Boss Rush. We've at least got some decent rate of fire now. And... Ooh, careful. The consumables from Head of the Keeper are going to be very good. They're going to allow us to buy stuff from the shop, and if nothing else, they're going to be a good swag bonus at the end of the run. But we have to get them. I expect some amazingly good at this game people will have managed to rush the boss rush somehow. But personally, I couldn't fathom it. Oh, we got the champion. That's actually really good. I'm, I'm not sure about Friendly Ball. Um, I think I'm still sticking with my original assessment, which is that it is horse... It's hot trash. Hot ass trash. Uh... But I can see that it has its value. You can remove from the game every six rooms one enemy that you don't want to deal with. And except for a boss, that pretty much is anything. I assume. So, I can see that it does have some value, but health up is great. Speed up is also great. I still don't think it's very good, though. The uh, HP that we got from opening these locks, by the way, is entirely because of the trinket that I picked up that I didn't mention. Let's hold Pandora's box. If we're going to do that, we might as well uh, get this out. Still got the thing in it, right? Yeah. So we have our minion, which may or may not last a while. But I think that's it for me on Friendly Ball. I've, it's overstayed its welcome quite considerably. I don't think it's valuable. I don't think it has anything. Uh, good going for it. Spoon Bender is worth taking without re-rolling. So I'm happy to just say thank you, but no thank you to s s Friendly Ball. Thank you for giving me this one champion fly that's causing creep around the room. Oh, that was bad. Didn't realise it had fired again so quickly or I wouldn't have um, wouldn't have been where I was, I guess. And hopefully this champion will last some time, but I don't think it can heal or anything. I think it's just there till it falls apart. Oh, I got so confused by what was happening just now that I just sort of froze. It happens, don't worry. Well, we've got our dream, or at least our uh, original request, which was to get... I'll take flat penny. Um, hello. To get tears up. We got our tears upgrade. Let's check this room though. We have got our request to get a better spacebar item, which is not that much better, but it is kind of better. Hematomesis could also be really good. 
There's a trick with hematomesis where you find the super secret room, and if it has a specific type of HP on it, for example, um, the one that contains a black heart that looks like a library, then hematomesis will actually drop that type of heart instead of the red heart. So, the double DPS from the eye as well. Really nice. So we're hoping to find our super secret room. So I'm gonna... I was gonna say I'm gonna use a number of bombs to do so, but actually I think I might not do. You can see Spoonbender doing some good work for us as well. By dragging the shots that we miss back into line. Maybe I should stop just trying for the super secret room and uh, only go for it when I'm fairly sure about where it is. Is, black can is red candle worth buying? On Caves 2, I think we get some Spirit Hearts with Pandora's Box. I'm going to use it. We did, and we've got an item 2, which is a range upgrade. And then we'll buy this. Uh, it's great DPS, basically. It's almost impossible to miss. Sorry. It's almost impossible not to kill. It's really easy to miss. You just miss, like that. Simple. Anyone can do it. Try it yourself at home. But what I mean is it's... It's almost impossible not to kill something, and it recharges so quickly. Recharges? So quickly. Please, super secret room. There you are. It is not a hematomesis type room. We have a perthro. Perks. Maybe we'll take perks. It could allow us to transport away from the, um, the final floor and get to the final final floor. I.e. if there is a self-sacrifice room. Why did I do that? I thought I was fighting the other type of goodie that doesn't shoot me. Uh, if you find a self-sacrifice room on the cathedral, then we can use it with perks, but I don't know if that's a long-term strategy that's worth considering at this early, early stage. Because it means that we'd have to hold perks all the way down there, and honestly, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm here for that. Of course it's a fucking Krampus fight, just when I'm thinking it's time we, uh, we had a decent deal with the devil. Something that we can sell our HP onto. Oh, hello. Because don't forget, we're still looking to die. Seven more fucking times. Which ain't happening. This side of Ruby Tuesday, if... We keep getting things like Krampus fights, and things we don't want in the Deals with the Devil. Next up on Deals with the Devil. <laughs> Channel 4 show. Um, crap, we don't want in red chests. I will keep my Perthro rune. Jesus Juice was worth taking. The damage upgrade is helpful. Uh, Lump of Coal was worth taking. Again, damage upgrade, very helpful. That was terrible. <laughs> nice try. Please, though. There we go. Uh, range upgrade is apparently going to be useful because of how I completely ruined that. Uh, we'll do this because we have Flat Penny, which is causing us to get keys when we pick up... Um, pennies. So turning them all into bombs now means we're only going to improve ourselves by getting the keys back and end up with loads of bombs and loads of keys. Now I'm starting to think maybe black uh, red candle is not that a good idea because we're not really using it. We are using it but you know I'm walking into a room shooting and then maybe if I decide eventually that the amount of damage we're doing with our tears is not cutting it then I'll use red candle but honestly who cares. That's also probably not something I'm going to take. Guppy is an opportunity with that, but it's a possibility, I suppose I should say, but it's not It's not really an ever-present likelihood. It's just a, a vague opportunity that many, many red chests... I don't really think it's worth having that many red chests just on the off chance that three of them will be uh, Guppy items. I'm not going to do it. It can't make me. And I like having all the keys, the consumable bonus at the end of it all. I mean, I feel like we can do well on this run, unless it all completely goes sour for some unknowable reason, usually because I re-roll it, because I can't be trusted. Um, I think we're okay. I'm sort of on, on target to win. I'm suggesting this is probably going to be a win. Um, but it could all go horribly wrong at any moment, so be prepared for that. We've got enough damage to carry us through at least this floor, I think. I don't know. Who can say? <laughs> the red candle is certainly going to help us get past Mom. 
Probably going to get us through the wound. Hopefully from that we get a couple of extra items to assist us from maybe from deals with the devil, in fact. We're also at a, a kind of an awkward position because we've put a lot of investment into this life. And by this life, I mean literally this one of seven that we have left. Which means Judas's shadow is no longer actually going to help us. Because we've already sort of priced ourselves out of the market to use Judas's shadow to get the benefit of Judas's shadow. Gemini is... Uh, Pisces. It's a tears upgrade. Uh, it also has a knockback shot, and I'm wondering whether that actually still applies when we have piercing shots. I guess we just watch to see whether we knock these things back. It does look like it has some of a knockback effect, but it's markedly lower than it would normally be if we weren't shooting through the enemies. Uh, strength... Uh, maybe I should have perthrowed something? I don't know. Perthrow has that sort of too-good-to-use thing going on. Where... Well done for landing on that. That's really appreciated. Um, I don't want to use Perthrow because something's going to come along that I'm going to wish that I'd Perthrow. I'm like, oh, this is a shit item. I'm just going to delete it. But of course, I've used Perthrow and then I can't. Don't really fancy that. It's a black heart, apparently. There we go. So if we wanted to, we could take actually quite a lot of red heart damage in order to do something like play a blood bank, which will go into the curse room for sure. It's free to get in. Curse of the Tower is not <laughs> not a great pill. Uh, pill. Not a great item, I suppose. Uh, wealth of Chaos, no. I prefer having keys. They seem slightly more generically useful than bombs. It's just a bit of a nebulous thing to say, I suppose. What's better, a key or a bomb? Well, the further you go on in the game, it kind of changes over time, I think. So, who's to say? I'm going to keep my... Flat penny because I just aesthetically prefer keys over bombs, I guess. That's it. I'm going purely on the colour of the trinket. And it is what it is. I feel like I um, should explain that, yes, I'm aware this was not the mom fight. I just decided to explore the entire floor because it occurs to me there's no way we get into boss rush. Oh, we'd already resigned ourselves to not going to boss rush, so we should get as much of an exploration bonus as we can instead. We've got five minutes to get all the way through the next three floors in order to do Hush. So, um, happily, we will not be doing that either. We get a little gish from the gish fight. We did get a deal with the devil. And it does contain payable stuff. But it is also utter shit, so I'm not even going to pay for it. We're going to keep our HP. We're going to go down to the next floor. And the game is going to start playing into our hands so that we can actually get stuff. Uh, we can't go in there for obvious reasons, which may not be obvious. The reason we can't go in there is that we have more than a one red heart worth of red heart. We can get in there on one red heart or fewer. Which is not us, alas. We're doing a great amount of damage. Don't be fooled by the size of our tiers. The head of the keeper tiers don't actually increase your damage. But of course, the payout for the pennies, which is stacked up with a payout from... Uh, flat penny to produce more keys is almost literally worth its weight in gold, I suppose. Which actually is a very apt thing because at some point, gold, i.e., pennies, are going to lose their value from an Isaac standpoint. No secret room there, that's okay. So we're going to want to do the whole floor, there's no reason not to. We're not going to be doing push, we're not going to be doing boss rush. Who cares? I'm just happy that. I have beaten the keeper. I'm just what well, on my way to 1001%, which I was talking about yesterday. All I need to do now is find those items. Uh, it's okay. Might as well buy it. We've got money. I just like buying things. You just need to find those items that have been unlocked. That was a bit close, but we made it. Uh, I'm going to see if there's a secret room here. Just need to find the items to get a thousand. Oh, there is. A thousand one percent, and then we're done. Blow up. Have done. Die. Boom. Ha ha ha. More keys. Fine. One bomb for two keys. At this stage, who cares? Sometimes that could be uh, a good, um, a good trade. This time it is neither a good trade nor a bad trade. It is just a trade. We have so many of both. Okay. 
keep doing this, I guess. <laughs> okay, so finally stop giving me uh, HP. But we've now got many keys and many of the other thing. Coins. And we can get into this mob boss trap room, which is what I was playing that for in the first place. So I'm a bit glad that it did pay out with ID back because it meant that we can actually get in here and start getting some of the uh, points back that we've lost by not being fast enough. At the start of this run, I was a little bit, I wouldn't say salty, although I guess I was kind of salty, but I was more sort of disenfranchised with the amount of damage that we were doing, or the poor amount of damage that we were not doing, I suppose. Oh, I walked into that. Good and proper. But now, it's not a matter of damage, it's just a matter of... Our damage could be better. That is uh, for sure, but it's not bad. You know, we've got a great rate of fire. We've got decent damage on each tier, and we do have the red candle to sort of bolster us when if we think we're not going to be doing as much damage as we need to be doing, but... Ooh, an item. With the, uh, with the evil eye also increasing our literal rate of fire. I mean, I can't really complain. I can try, I can complain. I mean, I'm capable of doing so. And I'm sure I could find reasons that this is not great. And it will probably start to be less great over time anyway, because... Uh, yeah, we'll do bombs a key again. So we're using bombs and not keys. Um, yeah, over time... It's going to not be as good because the game will scale and we won't. So we're going to need to get a little bit better. Here's our reroll room. It's going to ruin everything, no doubt. Oh, I got hit by that fire, which is also foolish. Take the bomb. Put in the thing. It is not a reroll room, so we're safe for now. Another penny, another key. Another time, another place. Our chain is attached to a body that we don't have. It's fun. We are now at 30 minutes. We've missed Hush. We've missed Boss Rush by the amount of time you're supposed to get to Hush. That's how far we've missed Boss Rush. It's a long way. Let's just keep exploring. Here's our item room. I didn't even realise we were still looking for it, but okay. It's got a shit item in it, but that's okay too. We'll pick up these bombs and leave. Good day. Well, that, if that wasn't... If I hadn't already found the secret room, I would have sworn that was the secret room down there, next to the, uh, just down below us now, I would have said, that's the secret room, no way is it not, absolutely no doubt, no doubt, it wasn't, I'm going to do that, <laughs> la 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 la, apparently transcendence makes you immune to those vortex thingies, which is super nice. I appreciate that a great deal. Oh, I don't really have much to say. The game is progressing. I'd like these things to not stay down forever. You can see how little damage we're doing because we can't kill these things in sort of one sweep, I suppose. Let's get out of here, get rid of that. I've still got a perthro room. Maybe we should yes. start perthroing some stuff. <laughs> I guess I'm sort of holding out for blank cards to make the perthro room that much more valuable. I don't know. Oop, I missed. That wasn't great. Double plus, not smart. We're doing alright damage here. Um, trying to see if we can get Mom to stamp on the fire, I suppose. But Again, that's one of those plays that is theoretically a great idea, but in fact just turns out to be so difficult to achieve that it's not actually valuable to, to try to do so in the first place. <coughs> because we are not going through the actual chest at the end of the game, after you beat Isaac, we can actually take either the negative or the Polaroid, but neither of them actually does anything for us anyway, so I guess, like, who cares? Chubb is dying quickly, which is gratifying, although Chubb is made up of many segments, so each of our tiers is hitting all of them rather than just the one of them. Loki is dying at an okay speed. He has an orbit of head of the keeper shots. <laughs> beating the crap out of him. Also fun. Uh, I want it. Nice. 
So we need to think about how we're going to cheese the game. We've already failed at Hush and Boss Rush, although we are now fast enough that had we been going this fast earlier, we would be more than capable of achieving both Hush, hush and Boss Rush. Apparently we found a... a <laughs> I was just running around breaking rocks. Apparently I found a Tinted Rock. Even though I was already under the impression that there wasn't one there. So go me. That is showing you quite how good I am at the... Uh, Tinted Rock observation game, which is zero. I am zero good at that. The world. Yes, who's that? Found our secret room, which is in here. There is a self-sacrifice room here, and we do have a lot of HP right now. Do we gamble on it? Do we gamble on it? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to already have decided when you're going to do the self-sacrifice room at the end of an Isaac run. We'll play Judgment. Or not. I think that's how that phrase goes. I think it's Shakespeare. Um, okay. Joker. Sure. Joker. Probably shouldn't have taken that right now. But whatever. I can purr through what this bastard gives us. Or we could put through what the boss gives us, which is actually more likely to suck. Man, we've put so much um, investment into this life that losing it is just not on the op not a, an option anymore. It's not on the cards. Stop giving me crap that I don't want. Like that. I guess having a bit of HP is fine, because it means that we can try and maintain permanent Polaroid invincibility. Ooh. Black market? No. It's never a fucking black market. I don't even want that. Leave me alone. Um, if we get to the point where we need to maintain permanent Polaroid invincibility, we at least have that option of taking a half heart um, at some point and ensuring that if we take that much awful damage, we're at least not immediately going to die. Um, I think we do have a strong enough run to do the dark room. Try and beat the lamb. But the question is, do we gamble on it now? cut the cord, say, this is the only floor where I know that I'm guaranteed to have the self-sacrifice room, and I have a lot of HP with which to play it. Or do we say, there may be one on the cathedral, we should wait until then. Because if we're going to wait until then, we have to commit to waiting until then. We can't just decide on the next floor. And if, you know, At some point, you have to just say to yourself, there is a threshold for this, and I'm going to wait till the cathedral. Because anyone who has already played the game knows whether it's on the cathedral or not. So anyone who gambled on it being on the cathedral will win if it is on the cathedral. And anyone who doesn't... Yeah, I shouldn't have taken that um, self-sacrifice. Self shouldn't have taken that joker card so early. Not that I wanted to purr throw either of them. Oh, I'll tell you what we can do. This is risky. Do the angels drop the key pieces? I think they still do. This is Trez Risky, but also there's a lot of HP on the ground. So, let's do some more runes as well. Good. Yes. Speed up. Speed up. I mean, at some point you want to stop taking speed upgrades as well, because this is going to make you go so fast that you won't have a clue what you're doing. Uh, we're going to go and self-sacrifice ourselves. And the theory here is that the angels will drop key pieces. Even on non devil runs. Okay. Then we per throw both the key pieces and get sweet ass items. Sweet ass amaze balls items. There's plenty of HP on the ground. And we have seven lives, which is not that encouraging because each life will spawn us with. What was that? Um, one HP. We could just get, straight up get a guardian angel, which is pretty nice. <laughs> Scared of that. Angel. Right, good. Right. Key piece. Yes. Money. Bad times. Uh, well, we take this. I guess we, um, we roll it once, because it could spawn an angel, and then we'll have permanent toilet and invincibility temporarily. I know it's called permanent Polaroid invincibility and it's temporary. I think the permanent in that is, in fact, in the fact that you permanently got it. 
rather than the fact that you're permanently invincible. So let me per throw this crap. We end up with 99 bombs and Dr. Fucking Fetus. Well, that's a bit shit. So then we leave. <laughs> that was crap. We come up here. We pick up our spirit heart that we have had all game. Might go and get the other per throw rune. I think that's a good idea. Per throw it again. There's nothing really important that's going to drop between now and then, so... Like, there's no boss items to concern ourselves with, I suppose is what I'm saying. But that was very risky, and the reason that was very risky is that now we don't know if we're going to be able to get all our HP back... ...before... maybe Isaac's Fork? Um, before what we're hoping is the actual last self-sacrifice room, vis-a-vis -vis the one on the Cathedral, which may or may not even exist. So, know what I mean? Sharp and take a breath. It's an awkward situation to be in. So we've made our bed and now we're lying in it. There's an HP upgrade in Mom's Wig. Mom's Wig is actually pretty good. I quite like it. Might as well take the uh, HP up and speed down. We have got some speed upgrade pills in our rotation, of which we've taken several, so we're not actually too slow. Uh, at this stage, and we have been playing for 38 freaking minutes, so... Whew. Starting to get a little bit, um... A little bit of had done with it. Obviously, we're going to go as far as we can, but... I wouldn't be surprised if there's another 10 minutes in this game right now. Why did I let myself get hit there? You may be wondering. I too, I'm wondering. Guess at least we don't lose the spirit heart from coming out of the curse room. Uh, hello. Well, these guys didn't last anywhere near as long as they did last time. There's our second guppy item, which is uh, interesting because now we've got even more lives. Well, same number of lives, but maybe yet another. Th more HP up here. We don't need more HP. Right, well, we look or hope for random tinted rocks with spirit hearts in. We hope for more HP upgrades. That was extremely terrible. I knew that was going to happen. I was going, hey, self. There's no second secret room there either. Hey, self, don't walk over that with your item. Because it will pop. And it will cause tears to fly out of it and it will hit you. I went, never never you mind me, self. Look after yourself, self. Uh, and self said, I rather thought I was. But I don't appreciate your attitude. So, um, basically, you're on your own. And then self went, I understand. I appreciate your candor in this difficult time. Of spades. Well, there's our uh, two of spades. I was just talking shit until something happened. Two of spades has made me well justified in taking Isaac's fork instead of flat penny. Because now we have 99 keys anyway. So, two of spades, uh, Flat Penny would be doing nothing for us now, whereas Isaac's Fork is occasionally healing us for killing enemies. Which I think is a good idea. Don't you? Say yes, Paul. Paul Daniels died. Everyone's died this year. Can you believe this shit? This year has been a bad year to be alive. Especially if you're a celebrity, which I am not. But I know some people who have been. I, I know that some people have been. I don't know anyone who is actually a celebrity. In fact, I've never even met a celebrity. I can see forever. I'm trying to think if I have ever come across somebody who has any level of fame, uh, <laughs> like who's ever been heard of outside of, you know, the internet. Or even if it is literally just they are internet famous, that could be a pretty big claim to fame these days. And I'm pretty sure I've not met anyone like that either. So. What have I ever... What have I achieved? Is what I'm saying. Infested? Infested. That does nothing. Very well. Oh, we're stompy ourselves, by the way. It's another thing that Thunder Thighs does, apart from brings us down in speed. Which, honestly, at this time was not unwelcome. It also causes us to personally be squishing things. Which, in fairness... Excuse me, I had forgotten when I walked over that rock earlier that it wouldn't be Samson's chain. Oh, hello. Thank you. Can I have it, please? Thank you. It wouldn't be Samson's chain that 
injured us, it was ourselves. We squished the rock ourselves. I do not want pop rock. We'll go in here. This is good. More coins. I'm not even going to bother. We have 99 coins. There is a tiny amount of points to be gained from doing that, and I'm not here for that sort of level of min-maxing, because the amount of time it would take us almost exactly makes up for the amount of points we get for collecting extra coins. I'm not really using our red candle, but we'll probably use it here. When it comes back down again, we'll try and whack a red candle on top of it where it lands. Oh, you shot me! I thought I was doing really well, but no. Turns out no. Red candle doesn't make a noise when it's ready. Ooh, did you see that? It was very close. We did take red heart damage on this boss, which is upsetting. We didn't really have many spirit hearts. We're going to go fly around, see if I can find... Okay. I don't want to uh, See if I can find a self-sacrifice room. No, it doesn't matter. We decided to do it on the cathedral. There's nothing we can do with one on this floor, because there's no more um, key pieces to drop, I think. Yeah, we have to go up. So we will. Ugh. What a long run this is turning out to be. It's not what they mean when they say it'll work out in the long run. This is not the long run they were thinking of. It's not a run where you get shit damage with Eden and have to deal with dying two times on the first floor. Oh, thanks. Yeah, perfect. No self. Don't step on that rock on the way back through. Perfect. Thank you for stopping exactly where I needed you. So we're going to explore this floor fully. Ah, we can't hide out over hide out. I've turned Canadian. We can't hide out over rocks. Because we squish them. Yeah. We'll open this as well. It's probably a library. It is a library. It's got shite in it. So it's a shite brewery. <laughs> I'm clutching at straws. I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel. And that barrel has been thoroughly scraped by many before me. We'll, we'll keep hold of Isaac's heart. Uh, Isaac's fork. Just in case. We also actually do want to kill Isaac on this run anyway. So it's not like exploring is a bad idea. We're not trying to avoid doing the boss. We are also trying to achieve boss doing. I'm going to pop out of here and pop in again so I can stay pressed up against this guy. Whilst feeding him all the coins in the world. Oh, take your time. Give me something I want. <laughs> Maybe I wasn't clear. Wow. Phew. That was close. I just thought, keep firing! As long as you keep firing, all will be well. Isaac, die. I think I extinguished the fire with my own tears. Maybe I should be careful. Ooh. Samson's chains can really help on this phase as well. You can just hide behind it. Don't let him get you down. Don't let the bastards grind you down. Come on then. I'll have you. I'll nut you. Bring it on. Oh shit. <laughs> Quick, get your man cap sent on. Fucking have you. Come on then. By the way, Incubus is amazing. And so is Succubus. And we got them both on the same deal with the devil. On the wound. Don't get hit twice by that. Which we got from using the Joker card, but we did earn it as well. Right, don't do the thing you did the other day and just pick that shit up. It's not in the cards. It's not what we're going to be doing. We're going to be playing this game like grown-ups. Like we're supposed to. Like mum used to make. Whoa! Bomb rocks are extremely dangerous right now. Okay. Don't, f don't throw at the very last minute. Don't die whilst looking for them... <laughs> We've got eight lives, I understand this, but for goodness sake, we're looking for the self-sacrifice room, which does not require you to sacrifice yourself. Also, don't crash the game <laughs> by um, actually killing yourself with the self-sacrifice room at the same time as you teleport, because that can happen. In fact, that it will happen, unless they fix that, which I don't recall hearing about. Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. Looking for a self sacrifice room. That was very bad damage. Although, honestly, I can't see shit, so it's not that bad damage. I can hardly tell the difference between their shots and my shots. Yeah, eternal life again. Why the hell not, right? Oh, here we go. Self sacrifice room isn't here. It is not. Okay, it could be in any of these rooms. We haven't actually been to them yet. I'm just already despairing. 
I'm already giving up. I've had it. If nothing else, we get the uh, exploration bonus for doing this floor in a thorough and investigative manner. Methodically thorough. Yeah, we'll open it. It's got a heart and a key in it. Who gives a shit? self sacrifice room, please, so that we can choose the game, because some people will go, yay, we've won, and not think to look, or can't be arsed looking, which is, honestly, I don't blame them, because this run has been very long. We now have Incubus doing extra shots, we have Succubus increasing the power of our shots, and we have occasionally eyeball shots, which are then shooting more shots. So, war stands no chance. Maybe we can get a way out. The hanged man does not do that, but I don't care. Nothing in here. Just use the hangman because we can already fly by the exact same mechanism. Self sacrifice. That's it. There is no self sacrifice room here. The game is over. We will leave. Try not to die on the way back. Don't walk over those explodey bombs and we're done. Well, this was a, an interesting run. <laughs> he said diplomatically. It really, really did turn around. And even though we tried a lot of both sensible and cute plays. Nothing really paid off for us. You know, we didn't manage to get... We didn't get insane damage. We didn't get insane synergies. We didn't get... We didn't do very well at all on the first floor. Uh, we didn't really... We didn't really get anywhere. 610th, yeah. There must have been a way down to the... Well, there was. We should have probably played it when it was there. We didn't. We gambled on there being one on this floor and there wasn't. So that's the dailies, you know. Sometimes you pick correctly. You hit the nail on the head early. Sometimes you strike while the iron is cold and everything's gone horribly wrong and you mix all your metaphors at the end of the video. Well, thank you for watching this video, which I didn't do too well in, but I did just about enjoy it because big penny tears are kind of fun. Uh, and I hope that you will join me for the next one whenever that turns out to be. I'll see you then.